Have you ever wished you could control technology with just your mind, no more tapping screens or clicking mice? You simply think about what you want to do, and it happens. It sounds like a far-fetched sci-fi dream, but this seemingly impossible fantasy is now becoming reality thanks to Neuralink's groundbreaking brain-computer interface. A few months ago, Elon Musk's Neuralink company achieved a major milestone. They successfully implanted their first brain chip into an actual person. The volunteer was Noland Arbaugh, a 29-year-old man paralyzed from the shoulders down after a diving accident. For weeks after the surgery, everyone wondered if it had worked or failed catastrophically. But then, videos emerged showing Noland doing the unthinkable, controlling a computer mouse cursor using just his thoughts alone. No hand motions, no special controllers, just pure mind control. It was a jaw-dropping, mind-blowing breakthrough that shattered our assumptions about what's possible with modern technology. In this video, we'll explore how Neuralink's amazing mind-reading chip works, the endless possibilities it opens up, and the big ethics questions we must grapple with. Get ready to have your mind blown, literally. So how exactly does the Neuralink brain chip allow people to control technology telepathically? It all comes down to reading the electrical signals in our brains called brain waves. When you're asleep, your brain emits slow, low-frequency delta brain waves around two cycles per second. As you wake up, they speed up to alpha waves around 10 cycles per second. And when you're hyper-focused on an intense task like coding or playing chess, your brain waves hit a rapid gamma state around 35 cycles per second. Neuralink's implant can directly measure these brain waves from inside your skull far more accurately than external scalp sensors used in the past. The chip contains 1,024 tiny electrode sensors woven into 64 hair-thin polymer threads implanted in the brain by a robot surgeon. By detecting specific brainwave patterns, the chip can identify particular thoughts and intentions. For example, the distinct brainwave pattern when you think move mouse right could be mapped to actually send the command to move the cursor right on the screen. But it's not magic. Noland had to spend weeks calibrating his neural patterns by practicing specific thoughts over and over. This allows Neuralink's AI system to learn the unique neural signatures that encode Noland's different intentions, similar to how voice assistants learn your voice. With enough training data, the brain chip can start to recognize a broad range of intended actions, from essentially any thought or visualization you concentrate on. In the future, we may be able to effortlessly control computers, robots, and other machines telepathically with just our minds. Being able to directly interface our brains with computers and robots opens up possibilities that sound like pure science fiction today. For people with paralysis or disabilities, brain-controlled robotic limbs or exoskeleton suits could restore mobility and independence in revolutionary ways. No longer constrained by their physical limitations, they could effortlessly control prosthetics and other assistive tech using just neural signals. For artists, designers, and creators, this offers a wildly new way to bring their visions directly from mind to reality. Imagine sculpting a digital 3D model, drawing a photorealistic illustration, or composing music simply by visualizing and thinking through the process in your mind's eye. The computer could interpret those cognitive visions and construct the actual work automatically. Even daily computer work could transform beyond keyboards and mice. You could effortlessly scroll web pages, open apps, compose messages, or code software using pure thought control for hands-free workflow. No more repetitive strain from typing and clicking. Gamers could experience full virtual reality environments directly driven by their brainwaves, with no need for handheld controls to physically puppeteer their digital avatars. Just think about the action you want to take, and your mind makes it happen in the virtual world. On a grander scale, merging our biological intelligence with artificial intelligence could open up unimaginable cognitive enhancements. We may eventually be able to interface our brains with AI systems to radically boost our memory, problem solving, or processing power capabilities. Solving complex equations, learning new skills, or comprehending intricate concepts could become as easy as uploading data. Some scientists theorize that if we can crack the neural code behind consciousness itself, we could even upload our entire minds into a digital form to achieve a sort of digital immortality beyond our physical brains and bodies. As incredible as brain-computer interface technology sounds, it also raises profound ethical risks we absolutely must address to ensure it benefits humanity. The idea of having to install a brain implant made by a private tech company is alone a major personal privacy issue. Can we really trust corporations or governments with the ability to interface with our raw thoughts and cognitive processes? Even if the device itself can't transmit our thoughts, the neural data it collects could be incredibly revealing and invasive. Then, there are valid concerns around data security and consent. If these chips can be hacked, it opens up nightmarish possibilities of rogue agents remotely hijacking 
hacking people's devices to control, manipulate, spy on, or alter their mental states against their will. Even if unlikely, we must put robust safeguards in place. Perhaps the thorniest philosophical question is around cognitive liberty and self-sovereignty. How much do we truly own the neural signals and patterns inside our own brains? Do we have an inalienable right to simply think freely without external monitoring or influence? Where do we draw the line to protect mental autonomy? If this technology keeps progressing, it raises the existential risk of slowly merging our organic human intelligence with artificial intelligence in ways that could fundamentally alter or obsolete our fragile biological cognition. We may need to grapple with redefining what it even means to be human as we irreversibly enhance and intertwine ourselves with synthetic intelligence augmentation. So while Neuralink opens up cosmic levels of opportunity, we must proactively establish ethical guidelines and governing principles for brain-computer interfaces. If we let commercial interests move too recklessly, we risk sleepwalking into a dystopian reality few people truly understand or want. Like all transformative technologies, brain implants have incredible potential to improve the world, but they must be shaped carefully and equitably to ensure the positive outweighs the negative. The future of neurotechnology depends on getting this right. That's it, friends. If you're fascinated by the artificial intelligence, inspired by the potential, or simply want to witness the next leap in human evolution, this is a journey you won't want to miss. So hit that subscribe button and join us as we continue to unravel the mysteries and explore the limitless horizons of this mind-bending technology.